All right, it's Josh. We're back here in the shop and we have our Nissan Titan XD project that we're working on. Uh, getting ready to remove our badges. So here's a little how-to video on how to debadge your vehicle. First, you want to start with uh, some string. You need some heavy pound test, preferably like some fishing line, something that's strong and heavy and durable. Uh, you also want to get like a heat gun, torch, blow dryer, something like that. Here we're using a torch. You can also stick the vehicle outside and get it nice and warm, stick it in the sun, warm up the badges and get them nice and hot. So first, we're just gonna kinda warm up our badges and warm up the adhesive. We kinda wanna soften it up and get it nice and warm. We did have the truck sitting outside already for a little while warming it up, but let's uh, just warm it up to be on the safe side. We got our adhesive a little bit warm. We're going to go ahead and take our string and basically just run it like dental floss, like so. Bring it across the back. Go ahead and pop these off. If you can work quickly, it's a little bit better. That way, your adhesive stays warm and soft, it makes it a little bit easier to pull them off. Remember, you're going to need some pretty heavy pound tests or some pretty heavy duty string. Something thin, but yet durable that can really pull through because it needs to be strong. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and do the adhesive removal. And the adhesive removal, there's a little trick to it. The trick is stretching, not pulling. So what you want to do is I usually will just maybe get like a corner started like so. I roll it with my thumb, kind of get it rolling like that. And once you get it picked, going here. There it goes. Okay, so once you get it kind of lifted, of course there's something there we go. You want to stretch. There it goes. So as you can see, if you stretch the adhesive like so, you don't want to pull it. If you pull it like that, it just breaks and it leaves the adhesive behind. The idea is to stretch it. There you go. So when you stretch it off, it leaves about 90% of the adhesive behind. Or it takes 90% of the adhesive with it. A lot easier, a lot simpler, a lot less glue to uh... So as you can see right there, there's a whole lot less glue to remove compared to all that. Let's see if I can get another one going here for you close up. So basically just kind of get it rolling like that and see how I pull and stretch. And as you can see, there's not very much adhesive left behind. The real key is getting it going. Once you get it going like that, excuse me. There we go. You can see once you get it going, it'll take all the adhesive with it, leaving it a lot cleaner. It's a little bit easier with two hands as well, but there we go. Okay.
Okay, now that we have all of our lettering removed and our adhesive is removed, it's time to clean the glue. Our residual glue, which is basically just an outline of all of our letters. There's a little bit of thick stuff here and there, but nothing really major. Uh, the best thing to use, well, we use a chemical called Rapid Remover. Uh, you can probably find it through Amazon or something like that, but we get it from our local distributor, but it's called Rapid Remover. Uh, it's totally amazing. It will never harm your stock paint. Uh, anything factory paint job it will never harm or do damage to or any kind of surface like that and we use it regularly so it's the best adhesive remover I've ever used and um, yeah it works really well so uh, you can always use um, like uh, excuse me uh, brake cleaner if you're in like a jam I don't recommend goof off goof off can be very strong it can definitely take off your paint a little bit too strong for doing any kind of little adhesive removal so if you're in a pinch and you don't have any rapid remover or any kind of normal adhesive remover or citrus remover brake cleaner works really well in a pinch okay so we're just going to spray our rag first like this saturate our rag with our remover i'm going to go ahead and just kind of start wiping it down and what i want to do is i want to saturate the adhesive and the glue that's left on here just a little bit of residual if I saturate it, it'll get it soft and start to eat away at the glue. And it'll make it really easy for me to just finish picking off. Okay, so now I might just come with my fingernail and just lightly start scratching off some of the larger chunks of adhesive that's just lightly left on. Take my rag and come back and wipe up the residual that's just left on. It's just a little layer. Okay. Down here, just kind of hit these big pieces real quick. good. It's just about a little bit. So now we're ready for just some water and alcohol and uh, quick cleaning and it's ready to go. Let's take a look. A little bit of adhesive left over right here. We'll just kind of scrape it off as you see it and you can wipe it off. A little bit of water and alcohol will help finish up just any of this residual that's left over. As you can see it comes off very easy, very clean and smooth with a little bit of adhesive remover on there Whoop. but as you can see when you look down the side it's nice and clean now there we go nothing but a little bit of polish wouldn't hurt it'll wipe up and cleaning and you're good to go okay a little badge removal 101 from uh, everybody here at daily visual Please like and subscribe, and uh, if you ever have any questions, send us a message.